rules for a trip to the arcade. Hello, this is a simple guide for going to the arcade. It can be a fun and relaxing time to have fun and relax. But before you plan on going, here are some rules to make your experience more enjoyable. 1. Be polite to the arcade staff, it will make them happy. 2. Bring a clock, phone, or watch so you don't stay too long. Don't trust the arcade's clocks, as they will try to get you to play more games. 3. Put your coins onto the games you want to play next, but be aware of how many players are ahead of you. 4. If there are exactly 5 coins on a game, do not play that game. 5. The other players will want to have as much fun as possible, like you, so do not ever bother them. 6. Do no leave until you have had fun. They will know. 6. If you bother, or have been bothered, by another player, then you should both leave immediately and apologize to the staff for not having fun. Return the next day to try again. 6. If a staff member comes to, to talk to you, make small talk. Otherwise, avoid letting a staff member talk to you as it will disturb your fun. 6a. If the staff member seems normal, you must continue until they end the conversation. If you start to get tired or sleepy, ask to use the bathroom, they will let you spend as much time as you need in the bathroom, you may even sleep. Afterwards, join the conversation again. 6b. If the staff member looks, feels, smells, tastes, sounds, acts, or exists in any way outside the norm, you must not pay any attention to the anomalies. If they do not mention their anomalies, then you may continue and end the conversation at any time freely, but then leave immediately. Afterwards, return the next day to try again. 6c. If they mention any of their anomalies, then you must continue the conversation until the staff member says the phrase have some fun. It does not matter if it's in the middle of a sentence, or they continue talking, immediately leave the conversation and refer to rules 8 and onward. 7. If you have survived your gaming without any disturbances, and have sufficiently had fun, then you may leave freely. Do not stay too long, as you risk a staff member talking to you the longer. You stay. 7a. If you had any tickets then you must give them to the staff, but do not attempt to reclaim a prize. If you did not win any tickets, then you may reclaim a prize, but do not try to lose tickets. They will know. 7b. If you reclaim a prize, then congratulations. You are free to choose a prize anywhere from a toy, mouse to a universe. But whatever you reclaim, you must be able to take with you or will not be able to leave. 8. If you are still in the arcade after being disturbed by a staff member, then do not play any of the games. If any of the following rules are not followed, then hide in the bathroom. It's not likely to help, but it's still a chance at surviving. 9. Do not talk to anybody. You may ask staff questions, but do not mention anything from the real world. 10. You should immediately start seeking out scary things things you might see in a cheesy horror game and mock them for not being scary. They do not like this and will cower in fear. Do this until 22, 66, 11. Go find all of your coins, even the ones inside the games you've already played. If you cannot find all of your coins, then you may as well play any games you want. It's too late. 12. If, for some reason, you fail to mock a single anomaly for too long, wait until an arcade clock says 1919, wait for a staff member to come talk to you and refer back to rule 6. You might get lucky and get a normal one. 13. At 6, your mother, Teresa, will come pick you up for school. It does not matter how old you are or who your mother was before, this is your life now. 14. Unless you were able to leave, either by being disturbed by a player, talking with a staff member who does not report their oddities, or talking with a normal staff member, then never return to any arcade ever again. Not even the parking lot. 15. But most importantly, have, F.U. and 